Softball 605. We're here with umpire in chief Gary DeYoung. Uh, or as right, Chester DeYoung. Chester, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's yeah, Gary Young is Gary with Young, yeah. Gary Young is with South Dakota ASA. He's yep. out of Watertown. I'm out of Sioux Falls. I know it's Chester. <laughs> D Young, that's fine. Alrighty. It's D we'll Young, not Young. D E Y O U N G. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, pretty again. <laughs> Three, two, one. Softball 605. We're here with Umpire in Chief Chester De Young, um, or as some call you, UIC Extraordinaire, <laughs> at the 2015. Sioux Empire Fast Pitch Softball League Tournament. Yes. Uh, great turnout here. Great turnout. Uh, 70 teams approximately. We're wow. going to go through just about 160 games. Wow. And how many, how many umpires? I've got uh, 31 umpires I think I'm using. Wow. So everybody's going to get plenty, plenty of games. Everybody's getting tired. So what are you, are you using two or three? How, how are you deciding how many umps go out there? Um, it's based on, originally we were supposed to have 10 diamonds going, and we lost some teams, so I have more umpires than I normally would have. Okay. Normally I'd have 24 umps, but I, with the extra umps, uh, I'm, I gotta put them someplace, so I'm using on my older diamonds, I'm putting three umpires to a game on that. Uh, the younger diamonds, I'd love to, but uh, it's just a matter of the availability of umps. Umps were really tough to find this weekend. Uh, so. We've got it set up so that all championship games will have three umpires on them, though. Outstanding. So where are all the umpires coming from that, that are working this weekend? They're basically league umpires okay. uh, coming out of Dunham, Frank Olson, and then uh, Brandon Valley here. But okay. then uh, we were so short umps, I brought umps in from Salem, from Pipestone, uh, and Madison. Well, it's, it's good to have enough to go around. Now, what, what's happening? Uh, anything new in terms of getting more recruits coming in. I know you're always working on that. Well, it's that time of year now where we're trying to maintain what we have. Okay. okay. Uh, trying to get a new umpire this time of year does not make a lot of sense because there's not a lot of games, but we do have fall ball coming up, okay. which will start in August. Uh, it's run by Greg Morgan. Um, I would contact Greg uh, or contact Seth and they can get you Greg's number and then he will get you set up to work that but right now I'm just trying to the umpires we have out here working I'm trying to make sure they're having a good time so they want to come back next year that's important it, it's very important because you got to have the return umpires to help replacing some of us guys have had a few years under our belt well I know you're always looking to get more people involved now um, are there gonna be any more clinics coming up if someone wants to get involved in fall ball uh, Greg, normally our clinic for fall ball is an on the field OJT, okay. and that's the easiest way to learn this. It really is. Yeah, as long as you know a little bit about it. Well, I know you got a lot of duties going on here, Chester. We appreciate you taking time with us at Softball 605, and want to thank you and all the umpires for the work they're doing to make the game possible for the kids this weekend. Not a problem. Thanks. Have a good weekend.